Breaking news tonight, we have our first look at the face of a little boy who was hit and killed by a car and we're hearing from his family. You know, the, this isn't something as a parent that you, you plan. You never want to be the one to have a child die before you. Thank you for joining us on the Night Beat. I'm Amanda Hall. And I'm Russ McCaskey. 12 year old Andrew Sullivan was killed in a crash yesterday. He was riding his scooter around the villas. Tonight, the Night Beat's Haley Zarconi joins us now live from Sullivan's growing memorial. Haley, it's clear a lot of people love this little boy. What are we learning about him? Amanda, Russ, that's right. Family and friends told me today that he was beyond his years. He was smart, he was funny. He was a musician self-taught in multiple instruments and rode his scooter as well as many other things through this exact same area multiple times. And above all, as you can tell by this growing memorial, he was loved. One of the most amazing kids that I've ever met. And I have three, but he's, he's special. At just 12 years old, Andrew Sullivan was many things. Andrew was always really funny, um, always made me laugh. Musical wise, he was a talent and he played right up the road. Um, just going on a little over six years now. Self taught himself in eight instruments. Um, full electric guitar and was actually just got done recording his own second song. He was just a really good friend overall and um, it's really sad that he's gone way too early. When Andrew passed away Tuesday afternoon in a crash along Crystal Drive, his family and friends felt a shock they never thought they'd feel. I saw the vehicle. I saw what looked like parts of the scooter. I knew my son was out. Um, it just, it hit me. I literally made the turn right here on Aldridge and I tried calling him. I tried doing the uh, GPS 360. I couldn't get through and I literally went home, looked for the scooter. It wasn't in there. I, I knew deep down in my heart that it was him. He was a good friend. The moment I realized he, um, he passed, I was really sad. As hours pass, this spot next to the crosswalk sees more love for this friend, brother, and son. You know, the, this isn't something as a parent that you, you plan. You never want to be the one to have a child die before you. You know, it's, this is devastating. It's truly devastating. Sullivan told me that just since yesterday, they've seen multiple people and it's getting higher and higher each day stop by this memorial as well as their home. Some knocking on their door and don't speak English. They're just there to say that they're sorry for their loss. And the Sullivans also said that they'll continue to keep us updated on a future service for Andrew. On the Night Beat, Haley Zarconi, Wink News.